I'm sure by now you guys heard about the water crisis going on in Jackson, Mississippi. Check this. Currently, the citizens of Jackson, Mississippi are living in a city with no water. The residents are being told to shower with their mouths closed. They don't have any access to any clean water. So why is it in 2022, a city in America is struggling to get clean water? So the water systems are owned by the local government. But here's the loophole. Private companies are responsible for the maintenance of the water lines. And the private company that's responsible for this particular situation in Jackson, Mississippi is Siemens Incorporated. In 2020, the city of Jackson reached almost a $90 million settlement over the water crisis. This was due to the neglect and botch maintenance from Siemens Incorporated. Now that we talked about the background and the history of Jackson, Mississippi and the water crisis, let's talk about the real reason why Jackson, Mississippi is struggling with water in 2022. The population of Jackson is about 149,739 residents. Almost 83% of Jackson populations are black Americans. But Jackson is the only city that's struggling with water. As you can see, the surrounding areas, Clinton and Ridgeland, are not struggling to have clean water. Clinton has about 39% population of black Americans and a 52% of white Americans that live in that area. And the city of Ridgeland, approximately about 53% are white Americans and 39%, close to 40%, are black Americans. So with that said, the city of Jackson, Mississippi has too many black people for them to be honored enough to have a human decency of having clean water. Jackson isn't the only city suffering from infrastructure issues due to systemic racism. This happens in cities all over the United States, including Texas, Michigan, and many more. Because apparently to the government, having clean water is not a human right, especially if you're not white. If you're willing to help Jackson, Mississippi, here's some resources. You could donate to the People's Advocacy Institute, as well as the Immigrant Alliance for Justice and Equity of Mississippi.